Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to custom order posts in WordPress. Okay, so WordPress is a super powerful platform. You've heard me talk about it a ton on this channel and there's so much that you can do with it. Uh, it's a great place to ho uh, house a blog, a podcast, regular video series, a number of different types of content you can house in WordPress. However, every now and then, regardless of how powerful it is, we do find some limitations based upon what it is we're trying to do. Now WordPress has two main different types of posts. One is posts and the other is pages. However, it does enable developers to create what's called a custom post type. And these are useful for a wide variety of things. I've been in the process of building a new WordPress theme by the name of Notable Press. And one of the things I worked in there beyond the posts were a number of custom post types that enabled people to do things that went beyond the standard content of a post. For example, I created a post type called tools so that you could provide uh, links uh, to affiliates or third parties or apps you use or Amazon links that you recommend for different products and services that are out there. So there's tools. I also created one called properties. Anyways, you kind of get the idea. The problem with some of these, however, is that because they're so custom, sometimes you don't want the default order of these posts on your WordPress website. Well, fortunately, this is possible and super easy with a free plugin. So I want to show you how to do that today. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here I am with a little demo or development site I have set up with uh, Notable Press installed. And so all we're going to do here is we're going to go on up to the admin. We're going to click on the title up here at the top left. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look down here for plugins. And under plugins, we're going to click add new at the top. Then we're going to go over to this search bar and we're going to type uh, post type order. And this it is uh, this is it right here. So then we're just going to go ahead and click activate. Uh, if you do not have this installed, one of the things you'll notice is that it will say install now. And then after it installs, then you can click activate upon activating the plugin. You'll see that it gives you this little bar up at the top. And this is where you're going to want to click on the settings page so we can go through it here and begin to configure the plugin. Okay, so one of the things that you're going to notice here is that it's going to enable you to pick where you can customize the order of your posts. Uh, so I do not want to be able to uh, order or customize the order of my WordPress posts. So standard posts, I only want to be able to uh, I want to be able to organize and sort everything else. Um, Media will probably hide just for fun, but everything else uh, should be good. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to say that uh, the administrator is the minimum level uh, somebody needs to be able to use this plugin. So that way you don't have subscribers or authors or other people using this plugin when they shouldn't. Everything looks good. So we're going to click save settings and we should be good. OK, so this is what I was talking about earlier. We've got posts which are native to WordPress. And then in this theme, I've created a number of custom post types. I've created tools, squeeze pages, properties. So let's take a look at what that looks like. OK, so let's say I've got these items right here. And if I were to go to view on the front end, here is how that shows up. They're called properties. I can change all of this title. But here essentially is there they are a list of things that I own around the web. So I've got a great book. I've got a great online course and I've got some products. I could say for the sake of this example, this links to Amazon, this links to maybe Teachable and maybe this links off to Shopify, you know, something like that. Um, however, we need the ability to be able to rearrange these because just because I created uh, my great book last, just because that was the last thing I created, doesn't necessarily mean that I want that to be at the top. Maybe I want my products to be at the top. Maybe I want uh, my online course to be at the bottom, something like that. So what we would do 
is we would go back to properties and because we installed that plugin you'll see now that a little move icon appears as my cursor showing me that I can now actually just drag these around. So let's say I wanted to put my great book at the bottom, my products at the top, and my online course on the middle. Let's go back to the front end. You'll see I didn't have to click save or do anything other than reorder those. And then you'll see that it is now using that order. It's showing my products at the top, my online course, and then my great book. Now let's say you were using WordPress for a purpose other than creating regular, regularly updated content. Let's say maybe you've got 10 or 15 or 20 posts, maybe they're video, maybe they're audio, maybe they're written, and you are going to just use that as your core posts and you're never gonna create anything else. Well, the good news is that you could actually do that without having to finagle with the dates in order to get the order of those posts that you want. So if we were to look at this front end, Let's see, you see up here, we've got this link in the navigation that says the latest, right? And so they're ordered, as you would imagine, by the latest posts. But what if I wanted to actually change that? So I could go to customize, and again, this is specific to this theme, but I could go to menus and I could change that rather than being the latest, I could say I wanted this to be uh, the library. Maybe it's a library of content that never changes. Save that. And then you see it is a library. But now what I could do is go back to the admin and we could go to settings, post type order, show. So we're gonna activate it for posts, save settings, go back to posts. And you see here now that I have the same functionality as we saw earlier. So I can now rearrange things. Let's say I wanted hello world at the top. And again, we're just working with some sample posts here, but you kind of get the idea jump back to the front end, go to library, and you'll see now they use that specific order. Best of all, if at any point in time you decide you wanna default back to WordPress's native ordering functionality, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is find that particular plugin, deactivate it, and you are back to normal. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully that saved you some time. I've ran into a number of different people running WordPress websites with custom post types or trying to custom order the front page and things like that. And I, I always find people trying to like change the date and kind of hack it to make it work. Well, fortunately, this free plugin makes it super simple with drag and drop. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey, so I get asked all the time how I make my videos. So I decided to put together for you a free one hour training, which I'm calling the seven pillars of effective video. Again, this is totally free. So click the box in the top right hand corner of this video. You can also head on over to, to rightly.tv slash training. Again, this is totally free. Head on over to rightly.tv slash training.